Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I just got a couple of Kit Kat flavors to show off for you. Uh, usually I like to do these one at a time, that way I can keep better track of them, like uh, on the playlist or something like that. But today I've I've had these burning a hole on my shelf for a long time now, and I gotta eat them before this uh, this uh, eat by date expires. So here we go. Right over here we've got summer ice cream. It's called summer ice cream. So I'm gonna let you take a guess at when I bought this. And then here we have maple. So you've seen the other Kit Kat videos before, and uh, we're gonna do pretty much the same thing. So let's just go ahead and get in there, crack it open. Oh, I forgot, we usually take a better look at the box art, right? Okay, so there's a the front, there's a the back, top, right, here's the bottom, here we go, here we go. Okay, side, and the other side. So. Nothing too fancy on this one. All right, let's open it up. So this time we got these three different colored packages as you can see right here. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these messages. I think this one says, Hashiruba hashiru hodo kankyo ga yoku naru norimono te donna kara. Okay, so it says something like, um, what kind of vehicle makes the I think it's like the environment, the environment better, the, the more it runs. I think that's what it is. And then this one says, what do we got here? Donna robotto to ichi ni kurashite mitai. So it says, uh, what kind of robot would you like to try and live with? Okay, and then this one says, Mirai no koromo tachi ni ninki no kyushoku menu wa. So it says, uh, what kind of uh, like a school lunch would the kids from the future like? All right. Okay, so it's got nothing to do with the candy really, but uh, that, that's your Japanese lesson for today. There's a shot of your summer ice cream. Kit Kat. It's actually uh, melting in my hands. So let's get out the knife. We got a different knife today, different cutting board, so. Let's do this. So it looks like it's got like little speckles of stuff in there. I don't know if that's chocolate or anything like that, but there's what the inside color looks like. And then there's just a taste test. All right, so, um, well, I'm not sure what these speckles are, but this pretty much tastes like a vanilla ice cream to me. Um, maybe there's some sort of like hints of chocolate, if those are chocolate speckles in there coming out, but pretty much vanilla ice cream. And uh, I guess all those questions about robots and everything like that was due to the fact that uh, I guess this is like a future space themed box. Here's the maple. Let's check out the box art real quick. Some giraffes and animals and stuff on the front. There's your top, your bottom, there's your side, there's your other side, and then the back here. I think this, they even go into something about this is the guy that happened to design the box. This is his website. Go check him out if you like the box art, right? Something like that. Now, I think that's pretty cool to show them up to to give them a little spot on there. All right, so let's open it up. I got a couple of different packages. If we take a look at this one with the leaves, what does this one say? It says, Doko de yatta yori mo nani wo yatta ka? So I guess that's something like, um, basically, instead of worrying about where you are when you did something, let's just worry about what you did. I don't know. Maybe that's a, hey, do something today message. And then this one says, Motto shiro watashi tachi no mirai. Let's learn more or let's know more about our future or something like that. I don't know. Sorry, that, that's your second Japanese lesson for today. I might have given you the wrong answer. So uh, once again, if you're better than me, then uh, hats off to you and uh, sorry for the mistranslation. Let's go ahead and uh, open this guy up. Okay. Here it is, there's a the front, there's a the back, right? No speckles or anything like the other one. Let's go ahead and give it a little cut. Give you a little close up, there's the inside. That's the color of the chocolate and whatever else you got in there. I like it, uh, I guess the maple flavor is pretty subtle. If you didn't tell me it was maple, I'm not sure whether I would have figured that out or not. Uh, it's not a punch you in the face, really smoky, deep, rich maple. I guess it's kind of light, but it is what it is. All right, so then as always, we're gonna try and rank these things, right? 
we got the summer ice cream over here and the maple. So the summer ice cream, I thought it was going to be a little bit too sweet and just not really something I would have liked. But I thought, I thought that this one was a lot better than what I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, give this one a four out of five. And then this maple, I like it, but I, I kind of think it was nothing special. I think I'd rather just really have the original Kit Kat chocolate version than this. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a three. All right, so there are your two Kit Kat flavors of the day, your summer ice cream and your maple. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.